nuclear energy, uh, seeing renewed interest fueling demand for the uranium that's behind all the reactors. Our Pippa Stevens, uh, I don't know what happened. Did you, who'd you make mad, Pippa? She is in northern <laughs> Saskatchewan with a look at the west. I don't, I, you're going to have to tell us how you even got there, what, 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 was, what was involved, Pippa. But uh, actually, it looks pretty cool what, what, what you did up there. Yeah, good morning, Joe. So we're at Cameco Cigar Lake Mine, and this site alone supplies about 11% of global annual uranium demand. And we got a look at the one-of-a-kind drilling process the company developed in order to access this high-grade ore. This is the jet boring system that was developed for Cigar Lake, and this is the only place in the world where this type of machine is used. And the reason is twofold. The first is that the sandstone above the uranium rich ore is unstable, so they can't access that uranium from above, so they had to do it from below. The second reason is that this is the highest grade uranium deposit in the world, and so you can't have people in close proximity to that uranium, which is why they developed this JBS system. Now you see that orange drill bit, that is drilling up into the ground and accessing the uranium rich ore body. Then you see these pipes. Those are inserted in order to bring all of that slurry back down before it is sent for processing. And you can see here that this area has already been partially drilled because of those concrete filled back holes where the JBS system has already accessed the uranium rich ore. Now we went all around this mine and this is not an easy operation to get up and running. It took about a decade to come online from first construction to first production. And so looking forward into the future, some are saying that with all of this renewed interest in nuclear energy, demand might, not, demand might start to outstrip supply. We've never seen supply demand fundamentals like we're seeing today. And you know, all of the drivers, we're talking about decarbonization, electrification, energy security, and now big data, the hyperscalers coming looking for clean electricity. And they're all looking at nuclear. And I've never seen it like this. And I got to tell you, Joe and Andrew, it's really pleasant down here. It's a relatively balmy 40 or so degrees compared to outside, where the real feel is negative 25. I'm wondering, I don't want to know why it's warmer down there, uh, but it, it, you can't get anywhere near there, uh, n near the uranium, right? I mean, the, the REMS must be unbelievable uh, in, in terms of the radioactivity. I, I mean, I, I, just doing this, there's so many logistical uh, concerns. Did, did you fly, where'd you fly into, uh, Pippa? Did you go into Saskatoon or, or, and then you had to take a smaller that's, flight? That's correct. You did, and then a smaller... That's correct, we flew from Saskatoon. Yes, we flew so... from Saskatoon, then took a smaller flight up to Cigar Lake. We're about 660 kilometers north of Saskatoon. And Joe, to your point, there are concerns because this deposit, the concentration is 17%. That's about 100 times greater than your average uranium deposit. And so that is why the company developed the specialized jet boring system so the workers don't get anywhere near that radioactive uh, ore. And I got to tell you, I'm wearing a decimeter right now. And the reading is, you know, 0 0.66 microsieverts. That's the same as what you get background radiation walking around in your average life. And I'm right in the middle of this uranium mine so this operation is entirely safe do you have any okay it is but do you have a, 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 a like a little film thing that, that measures how many uh, whether you would get more than you're supposed to get I used to have to wear one in a uh, in a p3 lab um, because of radioisotopes but do you have anything measuring the the amount of radiation you're getting right now Pippa yep so right now I'm getting 0 0.66 microsieverts and since I've been here the last 24 hours, I've gotten a total of 4.9 microsieverts. And again, that's the same as what you get as background radiation. All of the employees wear dosimeters that are monitored on a monthly basis, and all of that Amazing. is very highly regulated. They also do urine analysis, and so they take these concerns very seriously. No kidding. Wow, that's fascinating. Um, you probably wanted to do this. I was kidding. You know, if, if someone tells you, yeah, I'm, I've been assigned to a story up in northern Saskatchewan. Uh, but, but this is actually very cool uh, and, and kind of, uh, it's not quite a Miami Beach, uh, you know, Basil uh, Archo uh, assignment, but, uh, but very interesting, Pippa. Thank you.